Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing a game called The House of the Dead. Fuck yeah. This game is absolutely fucking awesome, my goodness. I remember playing this game at my local bowling alley. You know, I'd play a game of 10-pin bowling with my friends, and then we'd go straight over to the House of the Dead arcade machine and play two-player. Fucking hell, it was just so much fun. Basically, if you guys don't know what this game is, it's an on-rails shooter game. And if you played it in the arcades, you had a light gun. Alright, so you'd pick up the gun and you'd fire at the screen whenever an enemy would appear. Similar to Virtua Cop, Virtua Cop 2, you know, those types of games. To be honest, I'm not really a fan of on-rail shooters, but for some reason this game, The House of the Dead, I just loved it. I mean, you know why? It's because it's a horror-themed game, and you know, I love my horror in video games, so that's why I took a strong liking to this game. Fucking hell, it was just so much fun. I actually ended up just going to the bowling alley, not to play bowling, but just to play this fucking game because I loved it so much. I sucked at it, I got my ass handed to me, I never got far, I don't even think I got through the first stage, but I just had so much fun playing it. So here we go, this is the first chapter, or first level, called Tragedy. Oh no! <laughs> Love that intro. And there you go, that flying gargoyle creature has just taken away your fiance, Sophie Richards. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. Come on. How did that hit me? I've played through this multiple, multiple times, so I know what I'm doing and what to expect. A couple of bats here, we'll shoot them. There's gonna be a coin there. I'll try and get it. Fuck, I missed it. That is just fucked. I don't know how I got hit there. These guys with the chainsaws always freak me out, man. They just get really, really close to you, and when you try and shoot them in the head, because they're always holding up the chainsaw above them, it tends to shoot the chainsaw instead of their head, but when they get close enough, you will shoot them, trust me. It's just very scary when they get really close to you like that. There's another one of those annoying enemies that take a fucking million hits. I got lucky there, I shot its head off. Always good when you pull off a headshot. Oh shit, see the big guy there? He almost got me, he tried rushing me. He wasn't carrying a barrel. If they don't, they just rush you. It's fucked. And we'll climb back up. And there you are. We won't let you have it your way, Curian. <laughs> we won't let you have it your way, Curian. I love the terrible voice acting in this game. Now there is a jumping golden frog in that crate I just shot. I'll try and shoot it now. Get out. There we go. Fuck yeah, I got it. And there's another coin here. Yes, awesome. Re 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 reload. <laughs> That's very annoying actually, but because I've played through this game so many times, you know, I try to count off six shots exactly and then I hit reload the right mouse button so I don't have to keep hearing that re 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 reload bullshit. Fuck, there were two big dudes there with barrels above their heads. Fucking assholes, I took care of them. Oh, fuck these enemies. Look at how many there are. I hate these ones that are just very, very fast, you know. I like to think of those ones as the blue monkeys, so to speak. And here's the blue monkeys. Fucking hell, I hate them. They just take so many shots. Look at this. Sometimes they'll shoot these projectiles at you, so you've got to quickly shoot the projectiles before they reach you, otherwise you're fucked. 
So there's the boss, this giant spider called Hermit. Very fucking hideous. Look at it. It's extremely easy. All you do is shoot it in the head. That's its weak point. Oh, what the fuck? That is bullshit. That shouldn't have happened. That's fucked. And there you go. I took care of him. Now, I didn't do it there, but when he's in the animation of actually dying... I'll get you, Kyrian. <laughs> I'll get you, Kyrian. I love the voice acting. Goodbye, Kyrian. Farewell, Sophie. Goodbye, Kyrian. Farewell, Sophie. So there you go. That is the end of the game. And here we go. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and that is it. That is the best ending. Sophie's alive. And there's my score. 65,383 points. I'll put in my initials. And that will do it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out. Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing the House of the Dead 2. Fuck yeah. This game is awesome. So here we go, straight away, a couple of zombies to take care of. Now the first thing I need to mention is the voice acting. The voice acting for this game is quite possibly the worst I've ever heard in any video game ever. It is absolutely abhorrent, it is a disgrace, it is fucking horrendous. I'm willing to put money on it that the developers themselves did the voice acting for this game. No more fooling around! Oh my god. No more fooling around! Fucking hell, it's just the worst voice Dogs acting ever. AMS. It's been a while, hasn't it, my friends from the AMS? It's me, Goldman. More atrocious voice acting. It gets worse as we go on. It's not like in... Oh, this is the hardest civilian to save here, that guy on the boat. Fucking hell, that is ridiculous. I usually always fail that, so I got very fucking lucky there. Amy? What happened, Amy? Amy? What happened, Amy? Man, it's just fucking atrocious, isn't it? Terrible. Everything's set. In time you'll find out who's right. <laughs> this is a present from me to you. That laugh by Goldman, my god. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, James. Thanks, Harry. Goldman, I'm not gonna let you get away with this. <laughs> That's definitely one of my favorite lines of dialogue in this game. Is there? Our Go, James. Soon. Hurry, friends. And then James just walks away, like he turns his back on Harry and just walks off, like he doesn't even give a shit Point about his eight, well-being. Fucking hell, it's just, just amazing again. this game. It's too <laughs> quiet. At last, you've come. Friends, the door of fate shall open. At last, you've come. Friends, the door of fate shall open. Like, what is this? Who did the voice acting for this game? Surely they did this shit on purpose. Like it can't be this again. genuinely bad. This is the worst I've ever seen in a game. Come on. Fuck. What is this place? I don't know, but it's fucking creeping me out, and I want to get out ASAP. And we just took care of it, and here we go. Look at these guys. Look at them. They're so scary, because they have no expression on their face either. It looks like they're totally devoid of emotion. Like, all the other zombies that come at you are screaming, you know, they look angry, they want to fucking kill you, but you should hit it. And there you go, the chainsaw guy. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. You gotta shoot that chainsaw dude in the head. As long as we have the will to live. Goodbye, Goldman. 
As long as we have the will to live. Fuck, what a game. <laughs> Story wise and voice acting wise, it's absolutely out of control. But in terms of gameplay and music and graphics and all that, man, this is such a fucking fun game to play. I love it. So there you go guys, that is my walkthrough of the House of the Dead 2 on the PC. Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today as you can see, I'm playing The House of the Dead 3. Excellent game, I love all the House of the Dead games, they're just a blast to play.